It's been such a wild week on Wall Street, and I want to thank everybody that's watching Fox Business because really this week is leaving some investors stunned and confused by these record moves. Every single day there's some new news, but can we blame the robots? The Wall Street Journal reporting that in recent weeks, 85% of all trades, 85% were executed by a computer with no human input, compared to a long-term average of about 52%. So that's a huge jump up. We have got two wonderful guests with us. You've got uh, Paul Dietrich and Tom Lydon, who are joining us right now. Thank you guys for, for really speaking on this topic. Let's actually start with the, um, Tom, I want to start with some of this technical trading and the, the fact that you want to blame all of the computers and then you add passive investing in there. Um, how can we stop this? Well, it, it has been a great market for technical analysis as we've had this death cross in place. We've gone below the triple bottom. But it's nice to see a little bit of a rebound here, but we've seen something where there's a divergence between mutual fund investors and ETF investors. ETF investors have actually added $50 billion so far in December, where mutual fund investors have taken out over $120 billion. So is there a behavioral change in the works? Possibly. But as you talk out, there's a lot of volatility. Santa surely put a lot of Dramamine in investors' stockings, and they needed it on days like today. <laughs> I love how we're still bringing Santa in the equation. Uh, Paul, <laughs> um, if we could, could you just talk to the fact that many people are debating today and then this entire week, what is this volatility we're seeing in the market? Would you say that this is a correction? And if so, is it a healthy one? Uh, it's a correction. I can't say it's a healthy one. Uh, what one is struck by is that over the last three weeks or so, there has been no volume. I mean, this has been some of the lowest volume of trading on the New York Stock Exchange that we, we've seen in a long time. And what happens is when you have 15 percent of the trades being done by human beings, mainly junior traders, because all the big players are down in Florida for the Christmas and Hanukkah uh, holidays, and they'll be back next week. Junior traders do what they normally do in December. They do tax loss selling and, you know, offsetting gains and losses. And when they were doing that, the 15 percent, normally that, that would be a blip uh, but when you have 85 percent of the volume being done by these computers that have a momentum component to them, when they see some uh, uh, some selling, they ratchet it and accelerate it down, and they have this massive 15 percent to 85 uh, percent leverage, and that's what's causing all of this volume. The good news is is that they can also leverage up really quickly uh, speaking, when they see some buying. And speaking of leverage. Up. Tom, I want to go back to you and just take a uh, look at some of your picks really quickly. Well, yeah, um, I think there are two opportunities here. We're seeing big shifts into quality stocks and quality ETFs, specifically the iShares quality ETF QUAL is a great opportunity to get some bread and butter stocks in your portfolio if you're worried about volatility and you're worried about big margins. These are the, the quality stocks that a lot of people are shifting to. On the other hand, if you wish you took advantage of FANG stocks 10 years ago, you might have the opportunity for the newest FANG stocks, which might be in areas like robotics, automation, and the ARK Innovator ETF, ARKK, And we're going to leave it there, guys, because we are just, ten, the bell is ringing. i got to stop it right now. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but thank you for your insight.